I have a conundrum, which is I want a new camera. Um, there is so many to choose from, I have no idea where to start. I come from a Canon background, um, but there's so much more to offer now. I want a camera that's really, really good at photography, but mainly for videos. Not just for you guys, for YouTube, but just for personal use, for family videos and things like that. I want to start creating some really, really beautiful images. Actually beautiful images. Not just, that's nice, really nice stuff. Um, and the only way you're going to do that is getting a better camera, bigger sensor, better lenses, um, and just spending some time with it, getting that right shot. Uh, the, the problem is at the moment, right, is you've got Canon making some really, really good cameras, but they're the big DSLRs for video. They've got the EOS R, but scrap that well out of my price range. 5D Mark IV, out of my price range. 6D Mark II, something I am looking at. Interested. Um, Canon 80D and a 77D as well. Interested, both. Coming down and down in price, but have they got the features that I want? Probably. But also, do I want to go back to using a big heavy SLR when I'm using this? I'm shooting this on a, a G7X. Personally, I don't need 4K. Um, might be future proof, but I'll get a new camera if I need to in the future. Uh, but for, for YouTube and for you guys, 1080p is absolutely more than enough. Uh, there's plenty of uh, YouTubers out there that are, uh, you know, producing some amazing stuff. Uh, Peter McKinnon as an example, 1080p. Um, Casey Neistat just gone back to 1080p as well. Uh, there's a reason for it, it's just very, very easy to use. It doesn't take up anywhere near as much space um, on memory cards and things like that. So memory becomes really expensive when you start shooting on 4K as well. Um, and I am operating on a budget, you know, it's not, I could spend loads of money on it, but I, I, you know, I've got other things to spend money on. Um, and other people to, to, to look after as well. So it really comes down to, do I stick with Canon? Do I go to a DSLR or do I look at Sony? Sony uh, Alpha 7 or the A7 series. Uh, the original A7 is just so cheap now. I mean, 700 quid, 700 for the body and the kit lens with it that does pretty much everything you need it to do. I mean, it is phenomenal, um, but then looking into it, the autofocus and things like that aren't great. Um, so I'm just not sure whether that's that's the route I want to go down. Do I want to go to a camera that's five years old, six years old now? I don't know. No, not that old, but yeah, about five years old. Um, and then the Panasonic GH5. Some shots that I've seen from that camera are phenomenal, absolutely stunning stuff. But again, it's a lot more money and I've never used Panasonic and I'm not sure I want to move to that sort of system. Um, so it's, it's really between Canon and Sony. Canon V Sony. I don't know. And it's really frustrating. It really is frustrating. I mean, I, I want to go into a camera shop later and just pick up one of these. To give you an idea of how indecisive I am, I've just gone out to get lunch. And I thought, I quite fancy a burger. So I got myself a burger. This is like a chicken burger. It's a healthy chicken burger. It's from, probably yeah, it's Leon. It's, it's a really good little restaurant in London. Um, but then I saw the wrap on the way out and I thought, oh, they look good as well. So I got myself a wrap. So I just got myself two lunches because, you know, why not? Also, I'm a fat bar um, or getting there. So I'm going to go into a camera shop later. I'm going to have a look at the Canon 80D, the Canon 77D, uh, the Sony A7, the A7 Mark II, uh, and potentially the A7 Mark III as well, uh, and have a look at Canon 60 Mark II. Uh, it's between one of those. The 6D as well is something I've thrown in the mix, but I think that's, I think that's a little bit too old. Um, just old technology. I don't want to go too old. So it's a hard one. It's one of these things. You can sit here typing into YouTube all day long. Da 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 da. da yeah. What should I buy? A Canon 80D versus the Canon 60 Mark II, the Canon 77D versus the Canon 80D, and, and then what lenses did you get with it as well? I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But for me, I've used Canon for years in the past. Um, this little camera is a Canon. It's a brilliant little camera. It does a lot. It's just, you know, it's just a point and shoot. It, it doesn't do 
what you can do with an SLR or a, or a uh, mirrorless. So, yeah, I don't know, that's it. I'm just rambling on at the moment. I'm gonna go to a camera shop, have a play around with some cameras and uh, get one and then have a little review with you guys compared to what it's like with a 6 uh, G7X um, and compared to the GoPros that I'm using as well. Uh, 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 um, I think that's about it really. I'm gonna eat these um, and then get going, I guess. See you guys in a bit. These G7 axes are a pretty good all-rounder, and that's also in my head. Do I just keep using this thing? Save the money. Buy more burgers. Mmm. 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 Once again, Leon, outdone yourself. Let's go get some cameras. Get to making with. <laughs> so I know I said I was going to go and have a look at cameras. Um, that is still on the cards for this evening. I think if they're still open, uh, I got a little bit distracted. It's St Paul's Cathedral in the, the sort of the sunlight, um, the, the sunset, sorry, um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I've done a few time lapses and things like that around there. Um, so what we're going to do, focus, focus, good boy. Um, we're going to go and get some, uh, well, have a look at cameras. Um, I wanted to see what this was like in sort of low light situations and things like that. I think it looks pretty good at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go and get a proper camera because, you know, this is just a bit near. Um, and then we're going to get some burgers and a lobster all on one plate. It's fantastic. So, anyway, we've got to go. See you in a bit. So I've just been to the camera store and the exact camera which I've decided on is a Sony a7 III. Um, just, it's the best fan of the bar. It just does everything, 4K, um, image stability, really good low light. Um, and also it's under two grand as well with a lens. So you can't really go wrong with that. Um, the only problem is they haven't got any of them in stock because everybody wants one. Um, which kind of sucks. It's a complete wasted journey. Um, so I gotta come back next week or go to another store. Um, but I'm absolutely starving, so is this one. Um, so we're gonna have uh, have some nice food. We're gonna search a few restaurants and find somewhere nice. I love this place, one of my favourite restaurants. Hello? God, I'm so full. Literally just had the best meal in the world. Burger, chips, whole entire lobster it is the best meal. If you come to London or, or anywhere that do burger and lobster, just go burger and lobster. You will not regret it. Um, unless you don't eat meat and things, then don't go there. Um, that's it, really. So, 
uneventful evening really. Um, I really, really wanted to get a good camera. Uh, the one I wanted, which I finally made an actual decision of, Sony A uh, A7 Mark III, haven't got in stock, so I'm just gonna have to shop around. Could probably get it cheaper anyway. Um, shout that out, and then, uh, yeah, I'll go and get that. But great meal anyway. This is just my general sort of daily vlog, Friday night with Bubble or Annabelle. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna get the uh, uh, get a cab home. And, uh, and that'll be it, really. So, catch you on the next one. Please like, follow, subscribe below, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.